All right, so as you can see, the NBA um, playoffs been postponed um, due to the violence going on. A lot of NBA players and teams uh, took to the stands of kneeling uh, for Black Lives Matter. And I, I, I am in agreement with that. And because it, it, it's been, I had a conversation with my brother, Mike, man. You know, we was talking about this uh, just over the phone, man. And, you know, it, this is more of, I see as a black man issue. Don't get me wrong, as as it's supposed to be just African Americans, you know, supposedly uh, just going through and just want, you know, just accountability for uh, the police officers that utilize extensive uh, excessive force on us for low level offenses to be properly charged. But um, if you go onto the website, I mean, they know for like, you know, for the LBGQT uh, community rights and the trans rights and all this stuff. And, you know, a lot of black men feel like, you know, they don't want to step in and, and, and put on their full or less support. But, you know, as, as you know, we's being victimized from the police, you know, they're one of the first organizations to go out here and speak on our behalf. And I will say this, you know, I commend the black women and women in general that's going out here speaking for us. But at the same time, as black men, we need to step up. You know, I think that um, this is more in a severe of a black man issue that's going on. I mean, you look at, you know, it, it started with the inspiration of Trayvon Martin when he got killed by this so-called um, neighborhood watch, George Zimmerman and everything man so you know all we want is we don't want the corporations we don't want all the money all we want is our respect and dignity and to going out here so we can provide for our families and reach this damn so-called american dream but not only even that just live comfortably and restoring order in our communities but it's hard to do that when you have the police uh community they supposed to protect and serve but it seems like they're harassing and killing uh, a black man uh, when it seems fit. Now, I'm not saying all police officers are doing that. Yes, you may have more crime statistically on um, white on white crimes and is um, white people kill white people, white police, officers, you know, police officers kill white people on a daily basis. But I seem like what this is going on right here, um, we'd be on mishandled in so many ways. It just feels like, you know, things that, you know, that can been uh, easily de-escalated like just a simple takedown or anything going to a questioning uh, us having a fair fight and, and trial and and the court system is, is is being abolished in this particular moment and if black men doesn't step up and just really want to get out some policies and say hey if you murder a black man then you know for un undesirable reason you pull him over you harass him because of his the color of his skin you should be fired and you should be in prison um, you know, defunding them, um, that's one of the good ways. I think one of the uh, women was speaking up for the Black Lives Matter movement. But at the same time, this is more of a deeper meaning because we need we need a black man in the family. We need a black man to go out here and say, you know, the re to restore some type of organization and order. Because if not, this is why our communities are failing. A woman only can do so much. They can only nurture. As a man, we have to provide that discipline. We have to provide that structure and teach our kids on how to survive out here, you know, and so then and live through the teachings of Jesus Christ. But when you live in a community where a man is not present, nine times out of 10, the children is going to grow uh, up, you know, with all type of guidance and they're going to be recklessly and then they're going to be handled with due to those in power and law enforcement. And, you know, just seeing all of this, you know, the policies that's going on from all of back in history, man, the 60s that kind of dismantled the black family culture um, due to the feminist movement, you can do to the, you know, the, the welfare programs in the 60s, Lindy Johnson, all this stuff that goes on, man, that, that, that really tricking it on down and destroying our family structure. This is something that needs to be uh, talked upon. And this is why one of the brothers are out here kneeling. Uh, it's many reasons, it's deeper than fucking entertainment. It's deeper than, you know, you, you doing this for your oppressors and stuff like that. It, uh, this shit needs to stop. And we need change in this particular moment. And I'm going to continue to speak up. And uh, people might not even understand what I'm saying. People might not like what I have to say. But this is a, a turning thing uh, of a new revolution. So me listening and meditating to Stephen Darby's ministries is a really good thing. I like it. And I'm learning so much from it. Uh, shouts out to the Canons class. I was listening to that earlier this morning. I actually I commend people to go on here and check that out, man. Brother Nick Cannon's putting it in that work, man. So, um, but 
you know, just he was learning about, you know, JFK and then why he was assassinated, who assassinated him. Uh, you know, if you notice that he came from a, a family of immigrants as well, but that's here and there, I'm talking to my immigration. But it's just, I feel like, man, you know, we need to, we, we, this is a perfect time right here. Like this, I'm looking at this coronavirus, even though people had died, which is a tragedy, but this is the way to get us towards the Lord. And everything that's going on is revealing here into this Holy Bible. Um, it, it's things that I believe in now is, is coming to fruition. It, this is why you know I'm, I'm i'm starting to you know get glad and be happy that shit is going on in this world right now because now i kind of understand that you know it, it pins point this in the book of revelation that everything that i believe in and me worshiping god for all these years it's it's true this book here is true is 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 revealing to us right now so uh this is just really uh sort of solidifies our faith in this particular moment but you know i, I encourage like I mean, yeah, we take the L. I love the NFL. I love the NBA. I love, um, I don't watch the NHL too much, but NASCAR and all that stuff. But I love entertainment, but at the same time, though, it's kind of hard to represent this, um, this country and this city, man, and state that you're in if you constantly seeing your people getting killed and murdered. You know, even if it was all the way around, but Native Americans were getting killed. I mean, shit needs to stop. It needs to end. You know, I mean, for, for what, re you know, for reason, like, why are you doing this you know at the end of the day like do we need more culture training you know that's what it seems like and the thing is we're making this as a big issue even if this may happen once a year okay it may be, it might be small it's just the fact that the police officers feel like they get away with this you know and we're and no one's doing nothing about it they don't they get on administrative leave some of them get a vacation pay you know, it's just like, what the hell? Somebody get petty crimes, like third degree murder to second degree murder. You know, little things like that, man, compared to other people. And it's just it's just a very sad thing. So I, I kind of really don't rock with that, man. But uh, to all the NBA players um, out there, man, you know, uh, it, it's going to take a sacrifice. But it's going to take us, you know, um, to go out here and the people who's in the street corners, man, and going out there bro and, and understanding where we came from even the hebrew israelites even though i don't agree with everything that they say but i see where they're coming from you know they're hurt at the end of the day even though they come with so much strife they're hurt and they want to get the message across man and that's what it all is man where do we come from where do we stand where is our history what is the you know why we're here bro and this book is constantly speaking to us each and every single day so uh, i'm not a saint or anything so i gotta be you know a little bit more consistent reading the word that's what i'm trying to do that's why that's one of the biggest things i want to do right now so um after coming out from a zoom call but yeah that's all i really have to say so um i mean i don't know when it's going to resume it might resume tomorrow next week who knows until this shit gets resolved though um i know lebron james took onto his twitter people again probably upset about him but this man just started a school he doing good things with his money um he helping uh, young individuals get kids getting out of you know going to school and getting like a have the ability to go to ohio state university for two years man it's a good program school i promise program even you Hate him on the court. You got to love him. What he do outside the court? And uh, LeBron James is, is that dude, man. So uh, to all the other uh, individuals and all the NBA players, um, y'all continue to do what y'all do. Those are in, in support of it. And those who don't support it, just kind of have an open mind and educate yourself what the hell is going on in this country, man. But that's all we have to say. Guys, tune in, like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. I'm out. Deuces.